This is a power distribution board I just picked up from Banggood. This one's 36 by 36 millimeters, so it's about the same size as a NASA 32 or a uh, CC3D board. Now, it's a, you know, here's a 50 millimeter just to show some size comparisons. And uh, here's another distribution board, and this one doesn't have any special outputs. It just has, you know, a single input, and then they all output the same power, so it's just like a big splitter. This one has uh, your battery inputs over here. You plug your positive and negative onto the two sides here. Then it has a switch, a switched output here for LEDs that's connected to this switch. Then it has a 12 volt output up here and a 5 volt output. So I'm going to hook up a 3S battery to this and a 4S battery to this, and we'll see if those um, outputs are are close to what they say they're supposed to be. Have this power adapter soldered on to here now, and I'm going to go ahead and attach this LED strip onto the LED. Uh, pins there and then we'll hook it up to some power and see what happens. Here I have the LEDs just soldered onto the back temporarily just so we can see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing plugged into a 3S battery and we'll hopefully it'll hopefully they just light up and then we'll start doing some measurements. Here it is. I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and connect the 3S battery. Good. The LEDs lit up like they're supposed to. Let's see if we can get a voltage reading off of this. Coming in at 12.53. So that's just coming in just like it's supposed to with the um, battery, you know, just coming right over to it. Let's see if the switch works. Oh, yeah. The little switch works. So the switch is for controlling these LED connections. We're going to leave those on so we know the board's powered on. And we'll go ahead and we'll measure the 12 volts, hopefully, coming off of this. We're at 11.66, and we'll go ahead and measure the 5 volt connection, and it's coming out at 5.06 volts. All right, I'm going to go ahead and connect the 4S battery. The LEDs came on, that's good. Let's read what these LEDs are outputting. Coming in at 16.69, that's good. Let's go ahead and check the 12 volt output here. It's coming in at 12.48. And the five volt output is coming in at 5.06. That's real good. And when you solder this on, you just have to solder on to one of these connections and then the other ones become all hot as well. So just to show you, I'll go ahead and touch these two. And we're coming in at 16.69, just like I would expect. So with this fly board being the same size as a NASA 32 or a CC3D, it should be able to mount fairly easily just below your uh, flight controller. And since it has a five volt output, you could power your fly board off of this. Now that, the big advantage of doing that is that if you don't have to power your fly board off of your ESCs, you can get the smaller ones like the KISS ESCs or the DYS or the RC Timer ESCs and use those instead. They weigh a lot less than full size BECs. One other thing is you could run your 12 volt camera off of this or your um, video transmitter off of this as well and you're only getting 12 volts. And it doesn't matter if, you're out, if you have a 3S battery coming in or a 4S battery. This one down here does, this will always output the same thing as what's coming in, the LED output. But these two top ones will always output 12 volt or 5 volts. So anyway, uh, I'll have some links to this down in the description. If you have any questions about it, please leave them in the comments and I'll try to help you out as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching.